back at it again. I'm not sure how I like this new phone and new camera. Uh, I'm not, I don't usually like change. Once I get in a routine and kind of find something I like, I kind of like to stick with it. And it just, when you're panning the camera around, it just seems like everything moves too fast. Anyway, that's how it is, I guess. Just gonna have to roll with it and try to adjust. So, yesterday, let's backtrack. Last Monday, or excuse me, last Saturday, I got a phone call bright and early, Saturday morning, from my steel dealer in my hometown of Stockton. Last August, I had ordered a 500i chainsaw. It finally came in. After, what is it, however many months is that? Way too many, what is it, eight months? Eight months later, this thing finally comes in. It's been a nightmare. Uh, it seems like the whole 2020 and everything we've wanted or tried to order, getting parts, availability, at least for us, everything has just been, it's been a cluster. Nothing's there on time, nothing's available when we wanted or need it. Uh, and saws are no different, and even parts right now for us. Uh, I've been trying to get a few more light bars can't get them it's just availability is terrible right now so let's get to the bad about the saw right off the gate that full wrap handle that's not good it should be friday my new handle is supposed to be in for it i'm going to take the saw in friday they're going to swap out the handle for me at no charge they'll keep this one we don't like the full wrap handles and as you guys know the reason we don't like them is because when we bore cut we're right up on the ground and we need to be pretty close to the ground and we can't get as low as we need to be with that handle right there. So today what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna try this saw out. I was showing it to dad just a second ago, kind of letting him see the difference in the weight between it and the 661s. They're a little lighter than the 661. Uh, it, it starts like a dream, it really does. I mean, I, I know a lot of you guys already have these, which lucky you <laughs> as many saws and stuff as we buy it just blows my mind that we couldn't get one any sooner but it starts really easy compared to the 661s it seems like so we'll see what all the hype's about here after a bit we'll put them to buck in some of these walnut today i guess we've got some pretty good trees to cut the way dad talks i haven't seen them dad's already took off on the ranger of course that ranger he's got he's got the new 1000 xp which uh, i'm probably gonna have to have one of those here pretty quick uh i've it's a night and day difference between my 900 and i actually sold my 900 here just the other day because i'm when i say i'm gonna have to have one i'm gonna have one so i sold my 900 uh, xp just to buy the 1000 like dad's got because there is a night and day difference in machines and we use those rangers a lot. They're extremely handy for us. They're extremely versatile. Of course, you know, with us and what we do, the style of logging, cutting walnut and select hardwoods, uh, versatility is key with equipment and tools and everything we do. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna get the 1000 just because it sets up a little higher. Uh, the extra power is nice too, but the it's got a tighter turning radius, sets up higher, just uh, shifts a little better. It's just a completely different machine than the 900s. So, I won't ramble on anymore. Things been warming up. We're gonna gas up our saw, throw it on the back. Then Dad, I can already hear Dad whittling away. So he's down here in the creek bottom somewhere. And we're gonna see if we can add to this little pile of sticks here today. 81 trees was the final tally yesterday, what we've got in the last two days, day and a half actually. So we're clipping right along. Should be a 20,000 plus week, pretty easy. Hopefully we'll get close to finishing up today.
per usual, I'm not doing near as much filming as I'd like to be. It seems like it's harder for me to film and make videos when I'm running the skitter. I absolutely hate running a skitter anymore. When I was a kid, I thought that was the greatest thing on, on earth. You know, I used to beg my dad to run the skitter when I was a little kid. And, you know, growing up as a teenager and into my 20s, that's where I spent the majority of my time on a skitter. Absolutely loved it. I got to know skitters fairly well as far as makes, models, taking care of them, maintenance, things like that. And uh, I like to st still think I have a pretty good general knowledge of skitters, but as far as running them, it just, I don't get that thrill from running them like I used to after spending, you know, pretty much the last 20 years on them. It just, uh, I know I'm, I'm more productive and better for the company in better places like being on the end of that saw. But at the same time, dad, 77 years old, he don't want to run a skitter. He wants to cut and I want to cut. Well, you can't have two guys cutting all the time. You can some days, but eventually those logs got to come out. So uh, this job, especially, I'm spending the majority of my time on that thing. So that tree was hung up. A lot of these trees, this is pretty, pretty dense timber down here. A lot of hedge, a lot of walnut, a lot of elm. That's pretty much all it grows down through here. That's kind of the gist of everything on the creek. Now, a lot of these trees hang up and usually when they hang up, I try to get them down. I'll drag them out in a good area. Then I go through and I work that top up. I try to cut the top up pretty good to where it lays flat on the ground. Uh, of course, not all, not every top you can get perfectly flat, you know, but you try to do your best to get it to where it, it lays on the ground. That way it can start breaking down and decomposing a little faster going back into the earth. So that's what we're gonna do here. We just finished up this side of the creek. Uh, our tree count right now, there's another log in front of me there. We'll be at 104 trees total what we've got cut and on its way out now dad went to the other side of the creek here there's two or three crossings to zigzag back and forth here so he went across the creek he's actually going up the creek because he knows there's some trees up there
I know we got some guys that cut walnut here around Missouri and surrounding states that watch the channel. So this is something kind of unusual to come down here in this real low bottom. And usually anytime you see a bunch of water oak, or what we call water oak, some people call it pin oak. Uh, when you see stuff like that, generally you don't see walnut growing amongst it. And this is kind of, I guess, the exception to the rule because there's, there's a handful of walnut out here in this and there's some good young trees growing. Of course, you get back over here closer to the creek, the ground's a little higher, but uh, you get over here away from the creek, it's a little lower and that's where you start seeing that water oak, which we're gonna cut some of that, just not today. We're, we're focusing on the walnut this week. We'll come back and cut some of this bigger water oak. Which back from lunch. I'm gonna take the triple three back here to the log deck. I'll probably sort some logs before I head in tonight. That way I don't have to do everything tomorrow on that end of things. That is one heck of a fire they've had over here at Bushwhacker. Oh. So I'm moving a little slow. And I'll tell you why, almost a little embarrassing. I was cleaning off the back of my truck last Thursday evening. And I was getting ready to get down and I about tripped and fell. Well then, I kind of caught myself. When I hopped down on the ground, I sprang my ankle. Which, I've got bad ankles anyway. So I've sprang them several times. They're real easy to spring, it seems like. Spring, spring, whatever. So I'm kind of hobbling around, so getting on and off that grapple skitter's not a lot of fun right now. It takes me a little longer than usual.
another day another bunch out final tree count for today 125 total on the job now we've got just a few to cut and get out tomorrow and i've got some cleanup to do a little piling of some treetops cutting some treetops up a uh, little finesse work with a skid steer so i guess the uh part of the video i guess everybody's been waiting for i know i've been waiting for it all day this thing's gassed up oiled up everything on it is i mean brand new brand new saw new chain new bar all that stuff new look at that not even any dirt on it made in deutschland so you know it's good stuff uh, I've heard a lot of good things about these saws. Like I said, I've had this one ordered. I ordered it eight months ago, and it's just now here. As I said, said earlier in the video, that's about my luck with anything I want to do or order. Uh, my good friend Travis Shakes had these since, I think Travis said he got his first one last June or July, and he just rants and raves about them. And as soon as he had good things to say, I knew I wanted one. So... Uh, ever since then he's been kind of poking and prodding at me telling me how good they are so these things better uh better be up to the hype i know dad's already talking about he's going to want one as well you know dad runs a 404 configuration chain on his where i run the three eights i run a three eights and a skip chain dad runs a 404 and a full skip which means there's more links between the teeth uh, he's got fewer teeth on his his chain but that's a little more robust thicker chain in that 404 gauge anyway cutting walnut won't be too bad walnut's fairly soft as a lot of you guys know it's not near as uh, dense as oak uh, pecan hickory stuff like that we normally cut i say normally cut normally cut and we don't cut this brown wood here so we'll walk down here i've got my tripod we'll set it up and we'll do a little cut and see what this thing uh see what it's about now hopefully the wind doesn't blow uh, our tripod over because my new phone is about the size of a iPad it seems like it's pretty big so a little different on these I'm told start up you got this little ball here little primer there's no on off switch like the traditional saws have had just a off button but I'm told you uh, just prime this little ball up give her a few pumps Like anything I do, I'll probably pump it too much. Then the first time I started, it seemed to start pretty easy.
definitely say it's a runner. The thing rips pretty good, especially for being uh, quite a bit lighter than the 661. You don't really notice it until you get to running it for a while, and uh, definitely lighter, especially with the light bar on it. That'll be a plus, especially uh, if you guys know it do a lot of cutting as the days go on. These saws get a lot heavier the uh, longer later in the day it is. Now, if it wasn't for this rack handle, I'd be in love with this saw, but this should be gone to the wayside Friday because we're getting a regular handle on it. Just for what we do when we cut these walnut and other hardwoods low to the ground like we do the wrap, it's not good for us. It just gets in the way. As you can see, we can't get right on the ground to cut. And you guys that watch the channel regularly, you guys know we get right there pretty much on the ground or in the ground sometimes. I personally get in the dirt a lot. Uh, it, it really does. I mean, it's, it's a runner. It rips. And I'm sure once it gets broken a little more, it'll probably run a little better yet. I've had some uh, people comment about, uh, of course, I posted this on my Facebook or my Instagram page last night about getting this new 500i. And uh, we've had people comment about putting the bark box on it. Gordy with West Coast Saw is a great guy. I mean, he really, he does a lot. He's a big, big supporter of the Logger Threads brand. Uh, I've actually ordered some of Gordy's stuff for one of my 880s that I need to go pick up, actually. It's, it's been ready to pick up for a while. Um, I put a, a high rev kit and a bark box on it and some other stuff. But as far as day to day, I, do, I really don't have any intentions of modding my saws. Uh, you know, for me, the biggest downfall is how loud they are. Uh, I, I guess I'm kind of a old school or that's the old man in me like that. I, I don't like the loud stuff. I think they're loud enough as they are. Uh, you know, and with my chainsaws and stuff, I don't like to, I don't want to have to buy a new saw then spend money to mod it. I, when I buy it, you know, just right out of the box, I want to run it. I want it to run and work for me and be productive. Uh, and I'm not knocking the, the modded saws and guys that mod their saws by any means. It's just, it's an avenue. I, I personally just don't want to go down. I'd rather keep my saws like they are and just run them. And usually before my saws are totally worn out, I've, uh, I've, I've bought a new saw. We keep a steady rotation of them. Uh, Dad especially, it seems like, it almost seems like every other month Dad's buying a new saw. It's, uh, he likes his new chainsaws, and, which that's fine, you know, I mean, that's that's great. He, he's always got a, at least one new saw or two laying around. And But you know, just like the last couple days, Dad's really, the majority of what you see here is Dad. I really, I haven't got to do too much cutting. I cut a few today, and that's really about it. I've I've drug everything, but you know, in the last three days, you know, for a 77 year old man, dad's, he's put some timber on the ground. Uh, the fact that he still does that at his age and that he wants to do it and gets out there and has the drive to do it is, I mean, to me, is nothing short of incredible uh, for, a, for a guy that old. So kind of puts a lot of pressure on me. But yeah, back to the saw, it's a, uh, yeah, I'd say uh, I'll be ordering another one. I don't need another one anytime soon, but I'd say dad, uh, I'm going to let dad run this tomorrow. I'll let him buck some logs. I won't buck all these tonight. I'll save a few tomorrow, but I'll let, uh, I'll let dad do some bucking with it to kind of see what he thinks. But I'm sure when he sees how light they are, like I said, they're just, they're a light saw. Uh, Travis told me they're lighter than a 462, which I, I don't know much about the 462s or really anything other than the 880s and 4, uh, 660 ones. So, but yeah, it, it is a, it's a light saw as you can see. I'm not a strong guy, trust me. And I can kind of throw this thing around. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. It's uh, definitely uh, worth the weight. It was a little costly. Uh, I'll go ahead and disclose with you guys. Uh, everything you see here, saw, bar, chain uh we're just shy of 1600 on the money so a little more expensive than the 661s but some of that's because of this bar you guys that run these light bars they're high i mean they they're quite a bit more expensive than the regular bars so yeah good saw let's uh let's set the camera up see if we can cut a few more get some close-ups <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,
It's definitely a good running saw. The thing I noticed about it the most there, this chain that come on this saw is round top chain. And now normally for bucking, like on my 661s, I run the RS36, which is a full chisel and it's a pretty aggressive chain. So the reason I like to run it is because it'll take a little more abuse. Like I said, it's, it's a little more aggressive cutting. It does tend to bite, pull, and throw at you. Uh, you can see just, uh, the main reasons like these logs whenever you drag logs you're gonna have some dirty logs uh, especially right now in the ground conditions which their things are drying out pretty well but there's still some still some soft spots 
dragging across the creek, those crossings, you're getting in the mud, you're getting in some sand and sediment. The square chain will take a little more abuse. This round top, by the time I ran out of gas there on the last round, I could definitely tell it was starting to dull up. Now what I could tell, the saw to me is more like an 880 with the torque because even with this dull chain, it's still just wanting to just pull it right on through there. And you know, you're, you're not cutting great, but still you're, you're throwing out some pretty decent chips and it's still, still pulling it really well. So I think when you put a RS36 chain on here in a full chisel, this will be one aggressive saw. Pretty happy with it. I uh, can't wait to actually do some cutting with it. Hopefully we get the handle in Friday. It'll be ready to go next week, wherever we may be cutting. Uh, we'll, we'll even try it in some of this hardwood here, some of this pin oak trees or water oaks, as we call it. Guys, I think that's going to be it for us today. It was a good day in the woods. Any day I'm out here with my dad and everything goes right, when I can go home is a good day. Especially when we're cutting some decent walnut. and It's almost a little hot for me. It's probably pushing 70 degrees, which I'm not a fan of spring. I'm definitely not a fan of summer. We've got about another good month of working weather as far as I'm concerned. By the, by the time April gets here, trees start putting leaves on. Log it ain't fun no more. But, uh, it ain't good till about the 1st of October again. When it starts to kind of cool down, we start to drop some of that vegetation. Guys, thanks so much. I can't even tell you how, begin to tell you how much I appreciate you guys watching, following along. Uh, I kind of made a New Year's resolution, I guess. I'm not really into that, but I said earlier... Uh, in the year in the videos that I try to make more videos this year and I've definitely in the last couple weeks with uh, bad weather and broken phone I've kind of slacked on that but hopefully we can kind of pick up where we left off and put out some decent content and uh, I guess keep growing the numbers uh, I seen we surpassed 6200 on the subscribers awesome stuff I'm still kind of always in shock and awe that there's 6200 people that want to watch this stuff day in and day out but you guys never cease to surprise me we'll see you tomorrow we're going to wrap this job up tomorrow we just got a few more to cut a few more to buck be a lot of skid steer work tomorrow on the 333 we'll get these things laid out sorted that'll be another one in the books i'm going to put that on that 500 tomorrow and see what he thinks of it guys we will see you tomorrow thank you hey guys if you like what you see be sure to like comment and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos